Judge Ellis loses his patience, shouts at Mueller's prosecutors, then ends court early by Jim Hoff for the GatewayPundit.com. Judge T. Ellis lost his patience with Mueller's prosecutors Thursday afternoon and ended court early after the government lawyers made the same mistake twice. It's amateur hour with Mueller's lawyers. The judge even gave Mueller's lawyers a good finger wagging as he shouted at them, this is so good. Yes, indeed. Via law and crime, the last witness called to the stand was J. Philip I. Leaf, a certified public accountant, a CPA at Paul Manafort's long-serving tax preparation agency, Kazitska, Wick, and Company, KWC of Richmond, Virginia. As time inched along during the last witness's testimony, nothing of particular interest seemed to be occurring at all. Aleph was mostly providing foundational uh, testimony regarding the basic functions of a tax preparation company. Prosecutors then moved on the specifics and attempted to publish one of Manafort's e-file forms. Judge T. Ellis III's weariness all but amazed the courtroom as he denied the request, complete with an actual and pronounced finger wag before shouting, no, you move it along. Composing themselves again, the prosecution moved slowly forward before asking a leaf to define the term financial interest. A leaf began to answer the question, but was immediately cut off by Ellis, who noted that a leaf was not a noticed expert. The defense then belatedly objected, promoting a quick and sarcastic dressing down from the judge, but it was again the prosecution's turn for scorn. Static filled the courtroom as the longest bench conference of the day of the day ensued. Upon returning to Alif's testimony, the jury learned that the issue had been deferred until Friday, if ever. Then Assistant U.S. Attorney Yuzo Asoni uh, asked about another term of art contained on federal tax forms. Judge Ellis, who was already uh, standing by this point, advised Alif to wait and announced the court would recess early. After the judge le uh, the jury left, Judge Ellis uh, explained to the press what was discussed during the bench conference. That is, not only uh, was Alif not an expert and not a noticed expert as necessitated by the federal rules of evidence, but his testimony had the potential to derail an already agreed upon definition of the terms in question. This, Ellis said, uh, could have confused or clouded things for the jury. Judge T. Ellis, a Regan appointee, became very irritated with Mueller's prosecutors Wednesday as they droned on and on over Manafort's lavish lifestyle and his expensive suits. It isn't a crime to have money and be uh, profligate with your spending, uh, Judge Ellis said to Mueller's hack lawyer, Asoni. Uh, on uh, Wednesday, Mueller's lawyers took a beating from Judge Ellis after they went into detail about Ma uh, Manafort's spending habits, uh, whining about his expensive suits and how he paid for them via wire transfer, as if that's how somehow illegal. Uh, at one point, Judge Ellis uh, became so irritated with Mueller's thugs fixating on Manafort's spending habits, he interrupted the prosecutor and sternly said, let's move on. Enough is enough. They can add. Looks like Mueller's lawyers fall apart when they're actually challenged by an ethical judge. They're also getting smacked around in the junk Russia bot case by Concord uh, Management's legal team because they aren't prepared to try that case. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That, that, that this, is a, this has nothing to do with Trump. What they're blame, uh, what they're getting, trying to get on Manafort has nothing to do with Trump, and and it shows that they're they're going like what? Well, let's see what this judge does to them. I hope the judge, you know, throws this case out of court because it's like just 
ridiculous at this point. You know, I mean, what for this garbage that they're presenting, somebody's facing 305 years in prison, you know, three lifetimes, if not more. Um, yeah, it is more. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.